oh my god you're such a perfectionist i don't really think that's much of a compliment anymore because it has only made me a jack of so many traits I know how to do many things, lots of head knowledge. I've always believed this theory that because I'm a good multitasker, I can give the same amount of time and energy to an insane amount of passion and interest. And I call this balance. Really? I do believe that. Anyway, that's a story for another day. But my point is, with all of these things, I still felt like I needed to have all my ducks in a row. Know every step every clip must be perfect i needed to be able to predict every single outcome i can't share a specific knowledge i have because why people ask me questions that i don't know it's not good enough i need to plan more i just don't know enough yet i need to learn more and eventually i do nothing i am back at the same place where i started yes i didn't make any mistakes i avoided all of the tough things and i have all of this fancy head knowledge but i also did not grow. Cha cha cha. No evidence. Where did I start to talk? So working. So working. Okay, so now let's get serious. What is the difference between me and you, and the people at the places where we want to be? The difference is that they apply the knowledge that they have, no matter how small, and they allow themselves to make mistakes. Because newsflash, they still make mistakes. But you know, to people like us, we can say. They make better mistakes because they are this the ones. But anyways, for example, the iPhone, the iPhone is like the most used phone in the world right now, and they keep releasing new models every day, every it came out. The iPhone 16 will even be coming out next year. But if you ask the average person on the road why they are using an iPhone, probably seven out of ten persons will not have a solid reason why, except the status that it brings or maybe the camera. But the iPhone still has its flaws. In fact, I've heard of stories where people will go back to older phones that they've used because the former is better than the latter. Or maybe it's just preference. But my point is that it has its flaws and people will still buy the iPhone 16 next year. So why are you focusing solely on perfection? I'm planning, I'm planning, I'm planning, I'm planning. Don't get me wrong, planning is very good. You should give people value for their time and attention and money you should pursue diligence and excellence but the problem is focusing solely on planning because planning only seizes fruits when it's in action so you should plan and then transform your plan into actionable steps i've been learning something recently about the intentionality of god the summary is that god made you and i on purpose like he did not make a mistake when he made you so when he made you, let's say your name is Sarah. When he said Sarah and called you into existence, he was calling everything that you could ever be, everything that he has made you to be while on earth into existence when he called your name Sarah. He's saying there's space for you in this world. With the billions of people on earth right now, you are not a mistake. That's how intentional God is with his time, and his plans and his actions so when you see that a particular field whatever it is is saturated just know that people might be doing it but they are not you you probably have a unique way of doing that same thing when god made you he made you on purpose let that sink in on purpose it wasn't a mistake there's something that you should be doing here on earth I'm tired of being mediocre. I'm tired of not letting myself do human things. I don't want to be like the, the guy in the Bible that got one talent from his master and buried it. I want to die empty. I want to die trying all that there is to try, all that I could have tried. I want to allow myself to fail, to try, to learn and to grow. I want to prioritize progress and not perfection. So what do you want to do what should we do should we keep making excuses and not put what we know into action i hope you understand it's been done before but not by you you don't compromise your vision you've learned to surrender to your dreams you don't leave the arena to the fools i hope you know that you and your work and your voice are needed now more than ever